It is no secret that entrepreneurship has been on the rise lately. According to the U.S. Census Bureau data, 5.1 million Americans filed new business applications in 2022, which brings us at a 42% increase from pre-pandemic levels. And listen, I don't blame folks for wanting financial independence, especially in this day and age. Now, if you are a part of this growing number and you are looking for some additional funding for your business, preferably money that you do not have to pay back, you clicked on the right video. In today's episode, I'll be sharing with you seven grant opportunities that you can consider for your business. And these grants will range anywhere between $500 to $25,000. And listen, y'all, one of these grants that I'll be sharing with you today literally takes 30 seconds to apply. All right, so you want to stick around until the end for all of the details. Well, hello, hello, and welcome one, beautiful people. It's a girl, Shai Vivia, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thanks for stopping by and hitting that play button. In 2022, I ditched my flight attendant job to pursue full-time entrepreneurship, and it's one of the best decisions that I have ever made. On this channel, I share a lifestyle, side hustle, and business gems that can help you improve the quality of your life and business. And if any of this resonates with you, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well. That way, whenever I post a new video, you will be the first to know. Now let's get right into the episode. Now, the first grant program that I want to mention is the Fresh Start Business Grant, and this is being offered through Inkfile. Now, if you're not familiar with Inkfile, Inkfile is where you can go to incorporate a business such as like your LLC, you know, partnership. Uh, they also offer like virtual offices. You can get a registered agent there, a business phone number, stuff like that. Those are the type of services that Inkfile offers. Now, they are offering a Young Entrepreneur Scholarship Grant for $2,500. That's something that you can look into as well, maybe if you have youngsters, um, but that's not necessarily necessarily what we're looking into today. What we're looking at is the Fresh Start, where they'll be offering up to $2,500 towards a business startup costs to an entrepreneur. In addition to that, you'll receive services such as a registered agent for an entire year, a free tax consultation, and so forth. Now, the requirement for this grant is that you must be at least 21 years or older, must be a U.S. resident, must be planning to start a business or grow an existing business. So you don't necessarily have to already have a business established okay if you're looking to start one then you may also be eligible for this grant another thing that i want to mention is that if you come across some of these grants that i'll be sharing with you today or just any other grant and let's say you missed the deadline or the cutoff save it to your calendar save it to your notes and go back and apply because a lot of these grants run on a consistent basis sometimes every month uh, every quarter every year so forth and so on now how to apply for this grant is pretty simple you just complete the online application application, create a short two minute video telling, you know, how entrepreneurship will impact your life and submit a sample business plan. Uh, now I've talked about this in previous videos about the importance of having somewhat of a business plan, right? Uh, when you look to investors or the bank or whosoever to help you with funding your business, maybe getting a grant or, you know, something like that. Sometimes they may require a business plan to, show that you know what you're talking about and you actually have a vision and a plan for your business. You actually have a strategy. If you're someone who have not yet done a business plan, you've never done one, you don't know how to do one, you can check out my business plan template. It's very in-depth. I had a professional help me uh, with this. Okay, so uh, you're getting the best of the best. So you can check that out in the description below. It is a business template that also has contracts as well and agreements and stuff like that that you can use in your business. So it's not just a one-pager business plan. This, this business plan is very in-depth and has everything, all the prompts that you need to create a solid a business plan. Also, if you guys have any questions about any of this or the business plan in particular, feel free to connect with me over on Instagram at the underscore Shanice Bryant. Okay. That's the underscore Shanice Bryant. 
Now on to the next grant, and that is the Stacy's Rice Project. And this is being offered through Hello Alice. They'll be providing $25,000 to 10 small businesses with preference given to women founders in the food and beverage industry. So if you are a woman business owner and you're in the food and beverage industry, you have priority for this grant. Now it goes over the eligibility, That's which is very important, right? You want to make sure that you know from the get-go whether or not you may be eligible for a grant before you spend time to apply for a grant. So if you are a for-profit business, a U.S.-based business, okay, uh, selling a consumer packaged good, if you have annual sales between $25,000 to a million dollars, so if your business in a year is making at least $25,000, also must be willing to participate in a virtual 16-week mentorship program, which is a pro because you're getting access to mentorship, right? You're getting access to free resources and that's a plus. So if this is you, if you sell a consumer packaged good and you make at least $25,000, then you may be eligible for this grant. That's pretty much it. The deadline for this grant is December 1st, 2023 at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you do have some time to apply for this grant. I was really trying my best to get this video out about a week ago, but the system that I used for like screen recording was for some reason was not working. And so I had a bit of delay with getting this out, but regardless, you still have time to get this application in. And again, if you happen to miss the deadline, always check back because these grant programs are always running. Now, the next grant program is the Grow Seneca Initiative. And this grant is being offered to business owners, small business owners in Seneca County of New York. So if you happen to be a business owner in that area, this grant application may be for you. It's pretty simple. Once you go to the main page, co.seneca.ny.us slash grow dash Seneca dash initiative. Once you go to that main page, you can download the grant program gu guidelines. And also there is an actual form application. So you just select download. This application is a little bit more in depth than a lot of the grants that I've shared with you in the past and you know in this video, uh, but it's still pretty straightforward. It asks you like for your business information and all of that, the type of business, the business structure that you have set up, if it's being taxed as an S score or if it's just an LLC, all of that. It also asks you for your NAICS code, right? Your NAICS code. I have talked about this in previous videos as well. And I've talked about like high risk industries and all of that. I'll, I have a free guide below that you can also check out where I list the businesses that are considered high risk. Uh, I'm not saying that high risk businesses will never be eligible for grants or funding, right? But just so that you have an idea uh, to find your NAICS code, just in case you don't know what that is, they have a link here where you can go to find it. It's basically a number that identifies what industry your business is in. So for example, you're in the beauty industry, you're in the restaurant industry, you're in the automobile industry, so forth and so on. That's what that number is. You also notice that they aren't offering a specific grant amount. However, the total grant request may not exceed $10,000 and they give you the option to put how much you are asking for. In addition to that, they want to know, they want an idea of how you plan to use the funds. Um, for example, how much do you project will go towards working capital, fixtures, equipment, machinery. Now, I'm aware that everybody may not be eligible for this grant because it's only available to people in New York or in the Seneca County, New York. But hey, if you know someone, you know, maybe you know someone that knows someone that may uh, use this grant, this may be helpful as well. Now over to the next grant program, and that is the Verizon uh, Small Business Digital Ready Grant. I believe they're giving, I believe, $10,000 to business owners. Now this grant process is a little bit different. You first have to register, right? You have to register for an account. And once you register, they'll give you the option to sign up for two courses, either two courses or um, a training program, something similar to that. And so you have to do at least two of the courses to be eligible for this grant. So that's one thing to note. As you can see, y'all, they're offering a lot of resources for your business that can be 
helpful and beneficial, right? So as you can see, they have resources on managing money, branding, online marketing, which is a must to grow your business today. They talk about funding, uh, website design, winning customer strategy, all of that good stuff. And as you can see down here, they have virtual events that you can sign up for as well. Now, the next grant on the list is the Galaxy Grant. Now, the Galaxy Grant their mission is to help women and minority entrepreneurs succeed throughout their business journey by providing important resources, tools, funding, and knowledge. Now, y'all, let me tell you, this grant is super, super easy to apply for. No excuses to apply for this grant, okay? It is too easy. Now, they're offering $2,500 um, to a small business owner, particularly women and minority entrepreneurs. As you can see how simple this application is. They're just asking for your email, your name, zip code, your gender, ethnicity, business status, whether you'd like to start a business or you currently have a business, who you were referred by, feel free to shout me out <laughs> if you feel like it. And you just check that you agree to the terms and conditions and you enter. That is it, y'all. No excuses to enter this grant and it's for $2,500. Now think about what $2,500 can do for you in your business. Can that help you? hire some help, hire uh, an independent contractor just for a quick project to get your business off the ground? Can that get you some inventory? Can that get you an equipment and machinery? Do, uh, do you have a lawn care business? Can that help you get some machinery for that business? You know, for some people, $2,500 may not create so much of a dent, but for a lot of you guys, I'm sure $2,500 can do so much for your business. So if this is you, it's very simple. There's not much uh, minimum requirements really to apply for this grant it literally takes 30 seconds hey if i were you i would constantly apply for this grant okay and hey if this grant isn't for you then send it to a friend all right if they win you both win look at that each of you will receive a twenty five hundred dollar grant so send this grant to your friends all right and this video is not sponsored by galaxy grants by the way as you can see People have great things to say about the Galaxy grant program. Damon here from Shark Tank. Um, they also show some of the previous uh, winners of this grant. So, hey, this is a super easy one. If $2,500 is worth your 30 seconds out of your day, then, you know, go ahead and apply for this grant. All right. Now, grant number six is the Wish Local Empowerment Program. They'll be offering between $500 to $2,000 to help rebuild your small business. Now with this grant program, there are no specific requirements on how to allocate the funds. So whether you wanna use your funds for inventory, for rent, whatever that is, you can allocate this money however. Here they talk about the eligibility, which again is very important because you don't want to spend time applying for a grant that you may not be eligible for. So you must have a black owned business, it be 18 years or older, your store has 20 or fewer employees, and you must have a brick and mortar shop within the United States. So this is more leaning towards the brick and mortar entrepreneur. So if your business is mostly just online, or if it's only online, I should say, then this may not be for you. And if you have an annual revenue of below a million dollars, you may be eligible. To apply, you go to wish.com slash local slash empowerment, and they pretty much just ask you for your name, your store name, email address, phone number. They ask why you're applying for the program. They want to know more about your business. So what do you do? What products or what services do you sell? They want you to upload some images of your store to give a better understanding of your business upload any videos that's optional. And then you just have to confirm that you qualify for the program. And that's pretty much it, you guys. So this application may take you, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes, 15 minutes to an hour. It really all depends. Now, the next grant program that we want to talk about today is the Amber Grant. So if you've never heard of the Amber Grant, the Amber Grant was founded in 1998 to honor the memory of Amber Wigdell, who died at 18 before realizing her business dreams. Now with this Amber Grant, they are giving they give away $10,000 to a few women entrepreneur every single month, at least $30,000, okay? And that's split up, right? In addition to that, at the year end, at the end of the year, they give away two $25,000 grants as well. So every single month they are running this grant program. As you can see here, the deadline for this application cutoff is November 30th, so you still have some time. 
And they announce the winner by the 23rd of the following month. So this is running every single month. So once you meet that deadline, November 30th, they will announce the winner by December 23rd. So if you miss November's deadline, you can apply by December and then the winners will be announced by January. So this is constantly running. If you happen to miss the deadline, save it on your calendar, put it in your notes and apply. And on their website, I love that they always update and show like previous winners. As you can see, all these women um, recently were awarded $10,000 for their business. So this is geared to all types of women, regardless of your ethnicity. The deadline cut off for the next $10,000 grant is November 30th. When you go to apply for this grant, um, you'll see that they give a couple of tips. They want you to speak from the heart, right? And they want to share what matters to you. They don't want you to sound too corporate or anything like that because at the end of the day, you are the business owner and you are the visionary behind the business, okay? So that they, they want you to speak what is true to you. The only con with this grant application is that there is a fee. There is a $15 application fee to apply for this grant. A lot of the other grants that I've shared with you, a fee is not required. And also most government grants federal grants, you don't have to pay an application fee, but you may come across some private grants that may have an application fee. So that's the only con really with this grant. But hey, if you feel like $15 is worth the possibility of you being awarded $10,000 or $25,000, then by all means, I think you should apply. <laughs> all right, the application is process is very simple as well. They just ask you for your name, your business web or Facebook page. Uh, they wanna know a little bit about your business or business idea. So even if you have not yet launched your business, you can share that as well and just tell them what you would do with the money if you were awarded the grant. Now, there you have it, beautiful people. I just shared with you seven grant opportunities that you can consider for your business. And if you want to see more content like these, in addition to side hustle videos, how you can make some extra money from the comfort of your own home, etc., don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well. That way, whenever I post a new video, you'll be the first to know. And let me know in the comments below if you have applied to any of these grants that I mentioned today and if you plan on applying for any of these grants. Again, it's a girl shy baby. It was an absolute pleasure. Let's continue to grow those businesses and get financially healthy together. And I'll see you guys later. Be blessed. Bye.